okay guys so we are back home and we are setting all the things we need to get to work okay so here they are this is another big bowl for the washing here we got some hot water so here are the sieves we'll be using two of them this is another pot Mother, bring that fish pour that fish inside in this bag we have one live fish hey easy easy we have one live fish Madali, <laughs> cover him. For yeah! Hey, 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 hey! You see the problem? That's why they say we should cover it with something. No? If you open this thing now, mm. put something. Go use speed, jump up. So go and bring plates. So guys, on this live fish, I brought this particular one that I will use it to make barbecue. But like I told the woman that the problem will be how to put a knife on this fish. So she advised us that we should use salt. Okay. As we put it in a pot or any container, um, add some salt. Reasonable. You can see the way we are fighting with the fish. Reasonable amount of salt. And then cover it with something very heavy. So that's what we are struggling to achieve here so um but finally we've achieved that so we are going to leave it there with the heavy object on it and then move to the main fish proper okay let's go back there okay so back to the main fish um guys you know that um for catfish you cannot use cold water to wash it. Cold water cannot wash off those slimy things. So it has to be very hot, very hot water. Okay. So as you can see us doing, as we pour the hot water, you just use the knife and start scraping off that slimy um, texture on the fish okay so we did that the first time second time so we'll keep doing that until all the slimy um stuff is out okay so that's it and also guys if you notice um i didn't cut the fish before washing it that's because it's pretty much easier to um, pour the hot water and take off those slimy things while the fish is still intact washing this quantity of fish because i've tried it before if you cut it before pouring hot water and washing it's going to take you a much much longer time so i've done that before i learned from it so that's why it's easier and better don't cut the fish just um pour the hot water wash off the slimy things and then start cutting it's pretty much easier like this so this point i'm going to cut the fish and we continue the process okay and guys another important tip is for you to cut this fish make sure you have a very strong and very 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 sharp knife okay because this fish bone hmm, is very very strong go hmm, except you bought the small sizes that they call them um, what do they call it again um smoke size the small ones so that you don't need to cut otherwise Hmm. Get a very good knife, guys. Okay? All right. And yeah, we are done. Okay, washing, cleaning, everything clean and good. And here is the other one, the life one I said I was going to use for barbecue. Hey, we defeated it finally, okay? Let's look at the other part of the fish. And this is another one. Guys, only one fish filled this, this um, sieve. Only just one fish for this sieve. So in this big bowl, you see, I'm just going to. This is my salt. I have my salt here. I have some seasoning. So I'm just going to spice the fish a little bit, then allow it to sit for an hour or two before I start grilling. Okay. So I'll show you guys when we are done. Okay. Women at work. Women at work. <laughs> Thank you. 
And guys, okay, yeah, it's not also compulsory to like spice it before you grill. Okay, um, you can just grill without um, adding anything to it, either salt or seasoning or whatever. But if you want to have that mm, taste, that's in that sweetest taste, if you want to enjoy this catfish, just to give it a little touch of seasoning or salt. I tell you guys, you won't regret it. This is homemade, nothing like sand or anything. So keep watching. Yay, guys. So here we are. I'm done seasoning all of the fish. Okay. So like I said, after seasoning, you can allow it to sit for some time before um, grilling or you can just um, go to grilling straight away. So here we are now in the kitchen. So I've just lined my oven trays with some baking sheets and as you can see we've started lining up the fishes okay line by line line by line okay making adjustments uh -huh. you see how it's going okay so that's what we'll be doing just keep watching and if you watch to this end thank you very much i really appreciate you okay it's not taken for granted thank you thank you thank you all right so this first badge is ready to go into the oven as you can see we filled um all the three trays all right so we'll go grill this first badge and the second badge okay so i'll just show you guys the end results okay Let's go. Okay, guys. So let's check our fish. Man, guys, this kitchen is smelling so so good. Ah, Aww. look at that! Yeah, so guys, we'll keep checking intermittently, keep flipping them over so that both sides will grill very well, and that will be it. Okay, I will show you guys when everything is ready. And guys, this is the last badge. So I'm just going to take them out. As you can see, I've taken out first badge. So um, guys, this is the best way you can smoke your catfish at home. I tell you, you can see how dry this fish is and very tasty. No sand, nothing. Not the ones who buy in the market and two, three, four, five days is beginning to have muko and all of that. But this one it's going to places i'm telling you this fish is going to the uk london precisely you got a lot of point now i hope you did enjoy this video please like share subscribe give me thumbs up okay and i will see you all in my next one bye